It is Super Draco 380 and we're back for stage 53 of Build the Ecto-1, the simulation switch control panel and oscilloscope. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the analog digital simulation control panel base and the underside of the panel and secure those together with two EP screws. Now they only fit one way. So once you have them sandwiched together, we're just going to screw them together. Okay, so next we're going to install the control panel short supports 53J and the long supports 53K. Now these are all metal. So on the switchboard, there's the two rows of parallel switches. Those are going to be the top. So when you orient those, you want the long ones, the 53K, mounted at the top by the two long rows of switches. So you want the short ones at the bottom So those are going to rest vaguely like that, and then we're going to attach those with KP screws. And with that done, next we're going to start building the oscilloscope. So first thing we're going to do is bring in the front of the oscilloscope. And in there's a uh, locating peg and then uh, four screw holes. So you're going to, or I'm sorry, uh, two screw holes. So you're going to plug those panels in. The, those are both 53H. They're virtually identical. And once you've, uh, and then you're going to screw those down with two GP screws. And with that done, next we're going to attach the uh, oscilloscope uh, monitor into place. Uh, that's part 53I. And then we're going to mount it with two EP screws from behind. Now it'll fit two different ways. The instructions say with both peaks pointing up like I did it, but I don't really think it matters, so go with your personal preference. And with that done, next we're going to attach the handles. These are labeled part 53G. And these are just a push to fit. And that's one. and two. Okay, so next we're going to install the sides 53D and 53E. 
Now there's four holes in each side. So you want uh, the two that are further apart pointing towards the top and the two that are closer together pointing towards the bottom. The panels also have an L and an R to differentiate them. So you're just going to slide them in. Now that one I actually installed upside down. So here's where I'm going to verify against the instructions. And you want the lower hole as close to the front as possible. Once you've got that in, then you're going to put in the bottom, and then the bottom is going to mount to it with four IP screws. Right, and now that we have the oscilloscope uh, built, all we've got to do is mount the control box. So there's the control box is going to mount into those upper two holes, and it's going to be held in with four KP screws. And remember, you want the long legs at the back so that the board is tilting towards the front. Um, we're going to go out on some music. Thanks for watching, and we'll be back to finish issue 15 with pack 54. Thanks.